So this has got to be the craziest media kit ever sent by a smartphone company. And yep, this is the 2023 Infinix Note 12. Even though we have barely even finished 2022, we already have a 2023 smartphone. And this is it. This is the campaign. You are in the anti lag lag club. And here's the selling points of this phone. Helio G99 6.7, Full HD Plus display and up to 30 gigs of RAM, which uh, the phone only comes with eight gigabytes and you can expand that with extra five gigabytes of RAM that comes up to 30 gigabytes. And yep, here is the box right here on this big cardboard and let's get to the unboxing. Infinix has been doing a really great job on releasing great value smartphones in Malaysia and I'm super excited to have received the Note 12 2023 for a review because this is the company's very first gaming smartphone that is set to go on sale starting on the 7th of October. It will be priced at 799 ringgit but if you pre-order the phone you can get 100 ringgit off at 699 ringgit. So without wasting any time let's just get to the unboxing already. Uh, I'm really excited to cut open this box so as you can see since this is a gaming phone, uh, Infinix has partnered with Mobile Legends Bang Bang uh, in conjunction with the launch of this smartphone. This is a pretty exciting collaboration because this means you're going to get free stuff when you play the game. Now this is of course not the first time that we have seen a smartphone company partner with Mobile Legends Bang Bang uh, in releasing a smartphone because we have previously seen, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it would be Vivo that uh, does a similar thing. So this is going to be the same kind of benefit when you buy this kind of phone as you get uh, some freebies when you play the game, all right? So this is the phone and we are just going to take it out of the box like this. This is really a nice box that I would really love to keep, you know? So we're going to take this out and we are seeing the more uh, standard Packaging design from Infinix. This is the Infinix Note 12 2023. So we got a few things here. AMOLED, it has NFC great, so you can reload your touch and go and Hans card if you want to. There's Helio G99 inside, it's powered by this really good MediaTek chipset, even though it's not as powerful as the Dimensity chipset, but still offers a really good gaming experience. And it has six nanometer high performance and a monster engine. Wow, how, how monstrous is that? All right, let's just open the box right now. Whew. Here's the phone. And the color that we got right over here is a blue color model that you just see on the cardboard earlier on. So let's just take out the phone quickly and show you guys how it looks like. Wow, this is a pretty familiar design. Remember that we reviewed the Infinix Note 8? It actually feels very, very similar to that design with this shiny frame around the camera uh, corner here. And there is a matte uh, surface right at the bottom for throughout the entire chassis, all right? So we've got some manuals and whoa, this looks like a US dollar, but in fact, it is just a card note saying that, uh, you know, you're welcome to join the Infinix X Club, which is part of their community. So we have the TPU case right inside the box, save some money. Uh, we have the cable right over here. This is apparently a proprietary USB-C charging cable that enables 33 watts of fast charging with this charging brick. Let's take a closer look at the Infinix Note 12 2023. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it really looks like the Infinix Note 8 that we reviewed earlier with the exception of this new round camera bump, which also houses a triple camera system like the Infinix Note 8. So now it comes with a 50 megapixel main sensor along with a two megapixel depth sensor. And goodness knows why it is to included a third QVGA sensor for whatsoever reasons, it's probably for some AI processing or whatever, but yup, there is a third camera and it shows a QVGA resolution. Now on the front, here you get a 6.7 inch full HD plus display. It is an AMOLED panel which looks really nice with popping colors but unfortunately it is not a 90 hertz or 120 hertz display. It still defaults at 60 hertz. So I'm not sure why Infinix would call this a gaming phone with this kind of refresh rate. The Infinix Note 12 2023 comes with a USB-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack and it comes with dual stereo speakers that is DTS and Hi-Res audio certified. That is actually very impressive for a 799 ringgit phone because not many other phones of the same price range would offer dual speakers and with such kind of sound certifications. So let's just quickly play a song on this phone to hear how the speakers sound like.
All right, to be honest, it's not the best dual stereo speaker sound system that I have heard on a mid-range phone like this, but nonetheless, at least Infinix cared to give dual stereo speakers on an 800 ringgit phone, which to be honest, is rather commendable. The Note 12 2023 ships with XOS 10.6 running on top of Android 12 and while I was playing with the phone briefly, I do realize that there are fewer bloatware prints stored on this phone which is definitely a good improvement over previous Infinix smartphones as they will usually come with a lot of useless bloat and even some uh, crappy games uh, prints stored that you probably wouldn't even want to play at all. Overall, this feels like a really great mid-range phone from Infinix. It costs 800 ringgit and of course, I am a little disappointed that they didn't include a a higher refresh rate display because I seriously do not mind even if they include a IPS display that has 90 hertz refresh rate because this is a gaming phone by all means. I mean, they advertise it as a gaming phone. I mean, I don't see a gaming centric design on this phone at all, let alone, uh, you know, a good gaming hardware on this but i'm sure that the helio g99 processor will definitely do well in most games i try because this is a processor that i have yet to try out it is a rather new mid-range uh gaming processor from mediatek which i think is going to be really good for a mid-range smartphone so that's all for my first impressions and unboxing of the infinix note 12 2023 that media kit was really really crazy i have to tell you, i feel like a salesman while carrying that but do let me know what you guys think of this phone and what you want to know about the Infinix Note 12 2023 in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and I'll see you guys in our next one.